I'm here today to introduce to you the Powerwald XR950H and the XR939H helmet. It's the same helmet body. The 950H has the uh, PAPR uh, face seal and uh, air duct attachment and the XR939 is just the uh, standard helmet without any of the PR, PAPR attachments. The really innovative feature with this helmet is its internal flip design. If you're doing a combination of welding and grinding or simply wanting to move around the workshop, especially with the PAPR unit on, you don't want to have to be lifting the helmet up all, all the time. And one of the limitations of other flip throat helmet, helmets are that the welding part of the helmet flips forward and affects the balance and uh, feel of the helmet. This helmet uses a very innovative system. Uh, if you want to change from welding mode to uh, uh, grinding mode, you simply uh, flip the mechanism there and the welding cartridge retracts inside the helmet and sits above your head. So the balance of the helmet's really good because it sits the, the cartridge sits in a very neutral position. If you want to return to the welding mode, uh, you simply flip it back down. So very quick and easy to move from uh, welding or grinding mode. Uh, the other advantage of the helmet, if I just turn my assistant around, is all the controls for uh, the ADF unit inside the helmet are on the exterior of the helmet. So you don't have to remove the helmet to adjust anything. You don't have to lift the lens up at the front and try and get, get inside to adjust it. All the controls are on the, on, on the outside. So on the external controls, we've got two uh, slider switches and two adjustment knobs. The front knob allows you to adjust the shade uh, in two ranges four to eight and nine to 13. So you've got quite precise control and depending which shade range you, you want, you can adjust this toggle switch. Uh, lower setting nine to 13, uh, middle setting is four to eight and then the top setting locks the filter in a light state. So if you don't want to flip it, if you want to leave the filter down, you can actually lock it in a, in a uh, light state. On the other side, we've got uh, three positions for the delay. That's the amount of time that it takes for the lens to lighten after you've finished welding. Um, if you're welding at low amperages, normally you'd have a short delay. Higher amperages where you've got quite a strong afterglow, you'll leave that um, on long. And then the final adjustment is sensitivity. And again, that's about how much light you've got coming off the arc. Um, low sensitivity, if you've got people working close by and you don't want the lens being uh, flickering. And high sensitivity, if you're welding at low amperages or you haven't got a clear view of the welding torch or arc. You can see from the uh, shape of the helmet, it's designed to deflect any welding fume uh, away from the, the operator through, through the shape of the helmet. It's fully adjusted, adjustable in terms of fore and aft adjustment to move it closer or further away from your face, especially if you wear spectacles like myself. And also you can adjust the uh, rake, so in terms of how far it comes down onto your, your chest uh, through adjustment at, uh, at the rear of the helmet. Going into a, a little bit more detail uh, with the PAPR side of things, which obviously comes with the XR950H model. Uh, it's got the uh, face seal fitted, that's uh, drawn uh, tight with a, a bungee cord at the bottom. There's a D hook to make it easy to hook it on and off your, your chin. Um, and around the back of the helmet, the diffuser is integrated into the helmet so it's fixed to the helmet itself making it very secure and if i rotate my model down and fully you can see it comes out of the helmet slightly offset which improves the the way the air hose sits on your back uh, and making it uh, more compact and and less likely to get uh, tangled up
The welding cartridge itself uh, is a very um, high quality one. It's uh, rated one, 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 so four ones. It puts it at the highest quality for luminous transmission, optical quality, diffusion of light, and angular distortion. So what that means in layman's sense is it's a very clear and even uh, shading and it's very unlikely that you'll see any distortion in terms of the, the view that you have of the, the, the workpiece.